At the opening ceremonies of the Olympics on August 8, United States Olympians chose former Sudanese refugee Lopez Lamont as their flag bearer. The Americans marched alongside the 23-year-old runner. The U.S. team's decision came after the Chinese government revoked the visa of Olympic speed skater Joey Sheik, who is co-founder of a coalition of athletes committed to raising awareness about the crisis in Darfur. The move gained widespread media attention because it amounted to a challenge of China's commitment to human rights, due to Beijing's financial support of Sudan's government, which is conducting a major civil war that has led to the human rights catastrophe in that country's Darfur region. 17 years ago, Lamang, only 6 years old at the time, raced away from the bloody civil war in Sudan only to spend 10 years in a Kenyan refugee camp. He arrived in the US through the International Rescue Committee Resettlement Plan and in 2007 became a citizen. Joey Sheik's organization, called Team Darfur, released a statement on their website saying, quote, The Olympic spirit is about coming together to set new records and achieve the impossible, about resolving our conflicts and celebrating our common humanity, and Lopez embodies that spirit. There are hundreds of thousands of children in Sudan urgently in need of the aid of the international community and those countries that have the ability to help bring an end to the conflict, including China, which has significant financial ties to the Sudanese government. Though many applauded the US Olympians' choice, some considered their actions to be too provocative. On August 12th, an editorial in the Washington Times read, Shame on our Olympic team members for getting caught up in the mess. Iran has criticized the International Criminal Court for its indictment of Omar al-Bashir, the Sudanese leader accused of genocide, but has not publicly commented on the US flag bearer controversy. 